So uh, similar to this, I've also heard you say that the scariest moment of your life was not getting uh, injured or anything before that. It was having your wife see your injuries. And you said that that was the most terrifying thing you've ever been through. Why Why did that terrify you so much? Um, despite being in combat, being shot at, like that's the thing that stands out as scaring you the most. You know, if you ever find an amazing, if any of you out there have an amazing partner, an amazing mate, marriage, um, like really you're locked in tight. You know, it's it's a scary thing to think about that. Like they make you better. You know, they're that person you lean on and, the, and you celebrate the wins with them and and you navigate through the losses with them. And uh, my wife was that person. man. my wife is an amazing individual, uh, but we'd only been together for six years. Uh, we hadn't really been tested yet. We 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 had been tested somewhat through the leadership failure, um, but. I would say that was kind of more of my journey than her journey. She supported me in it, but I was the one that had to navigate it. When I got wounded, it directly impacted her. Uh, and I recognized, you know, we had three young kids. My, my daughter wasn't even one when I got wounded, my youngest daughter. I had a seven-year-old son, four-year-old daughter, one-year-old daughter. And, uh, and now she would have to take care of this broken individual who was severely wounded uh did that you know facing years of being put back together and at the very beginning we didn't know what that outcome was going to be and man i was struggling with that you know flying home i just felt like this monster i was face blown out uh nothing but tubes coming out of what was you know left of my nose i'm i'm tricked i'm wired shut uh my 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 i i had not seen myself in a mirror but i saw a picture later I mean, my head swelled up to almost the size of a basketball. Both eyes were totally bloodshot red. You know, nothing left of my nose except for these orange tubes coming out, stitches. Somewhere out there online, I think some of these pictures are out there. Somebody got a hold of them. But um, so, yeah, I, I was terrified. Like, how would my wife handle this? Would she say, oh, my God, I didn't sign up for that? And And there are marriages that have broken in the you know, the military hospitals where wives walked in and saw a severely wounded husband and said, I can't do this. Um, so that was a real fear of mine. I was terrified of that. Like, how am I going to do this if I don't have them? They helped bring me home. When I was laying there dying, I was thinking about them. Like, I have to survive and come home for them. And uh, so funny, you know, it's human mind. I always tell people, this is the most dangerous battlefield you'll ever walk. So many people check themselves out because of this. Once again, you don't know the outcome. Um, this is not reality. This is, we're making up all kinds of different possible futures that have not happened before. Uh, yet so many people make decisions based on this before it's ever unfolded. I mean, think about different paths, but man, let the real world play out. Um, you know, try and shape it. So, and thankfully I did, you know, I didn't make any rash decisions, thank God. I mean, because I have known guys that were like, yeah, my wife can't see me. And I, I will, I was very afraid to let her in the room. Uh, but when she came in, man, she came in like a, like a hurricane into that room. And boom, and she told me, she said, no, no matter what happened, she said, I was not going to allow anything I saw to shock me. And I mean, that's amazing that she had the wherewithal and the mindset to, to think that way. I mean, that's an overcome mindset. That's a warrior's mindset. And uh, <laughs> it's amazing. It still makes me emotional to think about it. But um, yeah, she came in the room and just walked up to that bed and kissed me and said, hey, we're going to be okay. And that was amazing. I mean, that was probably one of the most powerful things that's happened to me. I needed it. She, you know, she was like, we're going to do this. And I was like, Fuck yeah, we are. Let's go. So that must have been that must have been huge, right? Oh my god, yeah, yeah. huge. Yeah. So, and I never, I, I don't think you know. I mean, don't get me wrong. There were there were a few. There were moments that were tough, but I think that was a launch point when I came home. Like, hey, you and me, ride or die. Let's go. You know, fellas, do you want your grooming routine to be a one and done deal? Well, the days of using the same trimmer for your face and your private parts are over, thanks to our friends at Manscaped. 
Manscaped is now offering the ultimate package to trim both your beard and the boys downstairs using two separate razors because, I mean, why would you want to use the same razor for both? Um, and so in this package, you'll find the beard hedger. And what really sold me on this is that you can actually pick the setting that you want and so without even taking off this top part. So you just find the perfect length for you and then you're all set to go and trim your beard and it comes out perfectly. And then this right here is a lawnmower 5.0 and this is for the boys downstairs. You can get 20% off your order and free shipping if you use the code young and alive at checkout. Again, if you use the code young and alive at checkout, not only do you get 20% off, you also get free shipping on your order. Thank you to Manscaped for sponsoring today's video.